This session is on WordPress security plugin called Hide My WP Ghost. Today I'll be talking about that plugin, show you a few things on their website, their features, just quickly mention a few of them because there's so many of them. And then I'm going to show you pricing uh, at the time of recording. And then I'll also take you at the back end of my WordPress site. It's one of my production websites. And I'll show you a few features and what I have done so far to give you an idea. So you can then decide if you want to get this plugin or give it a try. Uh, I'll have the link uh, below this video. And um, it's an affiliate link, but I'll give you my honest opinion. And then you can judge from what I show you whether you would like to even try it. And so um, let's get to it. My name is Anil from marketingautomationfocus.com. What you see on the screen is their website, and it says protect your website from hackers. And this is with Hide My WP Ghost 8.0 plus 8G firewall. Now, I'm still learning about the firewall and different options, but I'll show you what they got at the back end when I get to it. Now, uh, I'm just going to quickly scroll down to show you. You can do a screenshot of, of these features or go to their website and, and read uh, about all the features that they have. Cross-site scripting protection, users activity log, URL mapping and text mapping, uh, protect your WP admin area, change and hide some common paths. And then uh, I'll show you really quick their uh, all features uh, page is a huge one. And I believe they have 61 or 63 features listed on that page in great detail. So it's really, really awesome. I was surprised. I, I actually didn't know this plugin I bought like almost three years ago. And, um, and, and I didn't realize, you know, how exten extensive uh, their uh, website is listing all the features and in fact how much they have developed in in just in fact in not only three years but just just in last one year so easy to use faster than others wordpress multi-site compatible with other plugins professional dedicated support uh, is compatible with a bunch of hosting servers you can read all all about that and there, there are some some testimonials and let's get to the features now so I'm going to click on all security features. Now, I'm just going to quickly scroll just to see it's a huge long page because they've explained a lot of those features, most of them, they have ton more, but I'm, I'm scrolling really fast, um, but you can actually, so I'm not trying to show you each and every one of them, but let's just, scroll down all the way down and see like how many they have listed and explained with screenshots and everything it was just awesome like 61 of these right so now without wasting time i'm just going to click on pricing page okay here is their pricing and you can see they have um, uh, monthly pricing and then yearly pricing okay and what's included uh, payment options and then comparison with free version versus pro and if you look at it the free version has tons of features there's hardly a few one two three let's see yeah maybe 10 oh maybe less than 20 features that are missing out of so many features that are missing in free version so you can try and do a lot with free version but if you want to go uh with pro in fact that's what i would recommend you know when it comes to security and i've by now i have installed this on at least five of my own websites okay um so uh and i i've spent considerable amount of time uh during last one week or so um that i had not spent like two three years ago so now i'm going to take you back to my uh my own website 
So here's the WordPress backend of my website, one of my websites. And I'll show you quickly uh, some of the areas I'm not going to be able to show you because of security reasons and what I've done with in terms of the uh, changing the common paths and the login links and, and, and safe login links and all those things, then obviously those I'm not going to show, but this should give you a pretty good idea. So you can see that they have this sort of a meter that tells you, you know, how, um, how the security level is uh, on your website. So you can see it gives you brute force IPs blocked, alert email sent. Um, those things are zero, zero for me at the moment. And then you can click this button and run full security check. Now I've done that a few times and I've done few changes and, and, and uh, improved on the security after uh, I uh, installed this plugin. So I'm not gonna show you how to install the plugin, but once you install the plugin, that's pl installing a plugin is not a big deal. And, and so the first time you try to do anything uh, with this, if I remember correctly, then it's gonna first prompt you to uh, uh, change paths. Uh, so hide different paths or common paths. And I've gone through that, there, there are two different levels. So let me just take you to, it's called change paths. So I have hidden a couple of uh, security related items here. What I've done, so either the plugin is deactivated, once you activate, it wants you to actually select either safe mode or ghost mode. It explains what those are and what different common paths would be changed and changed to what, and you can customize those. And so what I recommend that when you do that, then you take a screenshot or copy paste, whatever is on that screen. And I have done that. And so that you have a record of, you know, what the different paths are. So in case, uh, you, later on, you needed to know what those are. Uh, so, uh, it, so I have gone all the way to ghost mode and it actually has a button to test the login and the front end. Okay. It tests and checks for both. And once you're, uh, verified that, then you can accept and then you can save down at the bottom mid middle of the uh, bottom of the screen, you see uh, save button. And I'm not gonna go to each one of these. There are a whole bunch of security related items here. So you can see the level of security, admin security, login security, Ajax security, user security, WP core security, plugin security, theme security, API security, firewall and headers. That one actually has moved to a different place. And I'll show you a little bit of that and and other options okay uh, so on the top right here you see the change paths in cache files so um, i have turned that on you can uh, try those and you can also run security check right from here check front end pass if you wanted to check again for some reason and there are a bunch of other uh, options if if i scroll down but they're uh, my site specific security related information is there. So I'm not scrolling down um, that one. And uh, let's see. Uh, so I'm probably not going to let, let me just check here. Uh, mapping. Let me show you uh, firewall. Okay, so I've turned on firewall. And I, right now the firewall strength is minimal. Like I was saying, I'm still learning what 7G firewall and 8G firewall, but knowing that they have these latest options for firewall uh, strength, uh, it's really nice to know that they have that. And, and so some of these uh, uh, options were by default, they were enabled with the toggle switch. So you don't really need to do much customization. One of the really nice ones is the header security. This one um, kind of bothered me for longest time because every time I tested my website security and it, it would be different tools and it will give me, um, that tool would give me like, oh, I gotta do all of this header security, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, 
you know, I just couldn't understand and I had to just, I didn't know where to go. I didn't do much research and I didn't have time. So this one is really nice to see that hide my WP ghost is, is not just hiding a bunch of things. And I don't remember, to be honest, how, how much it was just simply hiding everything and fixing a few things and whether they have this header security at that time or not. But I, I noticed it now when I spend a little bit more time and I'm so happy. So I actually implemented a whole bunch of these options, like the, the last four uh, options. And I think they also have uh, two more. If I click here, cross origin and better policy and cross origin opener policy. Apparently, I did a little bit of research. Um, apparently, these two um, are uh, up and coming or something. And so I chose for, for now, uh, I'm pretty solid. There is a link here, securityheaders.com, to test the security in terms of the security headers uh, for, for your website. And it was just awesome and it helped a lot uh, right away. So I didn't have to, you know, Google it or a lot of spend a lot of time in researching okay so then there is a geo security whitelist you can whitelist some paths you can whitelist ip addresses you can blacklist them and let's just go there's some events log i'm not going to show that and then let's just jump to the security check really quick so now with the security check uh you you see that uh i i actually had all of them passed uh, oh, actually just um, 38 passed. So apparently they're testing uh, 39 uh, security checks, okay, uh, they're doing. Uh, I don't know uh, why not more, but it may be just they're still developing to check some of the security. But most common ones are taken care of here. And then you can... Uh, test the security of uh, level of your website. So now uh, one of them is I'm using really old uh, click to tweet plugin. So I know that hasn't been updated. So one of these days I gotta get rid of it uh, as soon as I use another uh, plugin for that purpose or maybe just not do it. And then this one just happens to be, uh, there is an update that I haven't updated. So when I scanned earlier, then it just showed up and now I have two failures, okay? And you can always, after making changes, you do um, another scan, okay? Now let us let me click the show completed uh, task. So it, it's really nice. Um, I wish they actually had maybe a download of, um, you know, all the tests that it, it runs just to have a record of like, so I, I can actually quickly see outside of this uh, back end of WordPress or outside of uh, WP, um, uh, hide my WP ghost. Uh, and so it, it shows you the whole list and whatever is failing as well as whatever was fixed, okay? And then I can I can hide the completed task and it brings you back. So it's, it's pretty neat and, and I haven't had uh, any problems so far uh, with, with this uh, plugin. And let me, so the uh, backup and restore is that whatever uh, settings you have chosen or set or enabled or disabled anything, you can backup those settings. So in case if you had to restore those settings, either on the same site for some reason, if you were to lose something, um, then you can use that or for newer website where, where you're installing this and you wanna pretty much use the same type of settings, then you can just simply restore those uh, to that um, website, I believe. I haven't, I haven't tested that, by the way. Uh, so I could be wrong there, but I believe uh, at least for the same site, you can, oh, well, it says you can use the backup for all your websites. So, okay, so I was right. So you can, you can do that. Um, and, and then uh, let me just click on advanced. Let's just see what advanced uh, shows. Uh, so advanced actually is, is a nice feature that with rollback settings. So it gives you the custom safe URL parameter. Okay, you probably can customize it and that's why I had to hide it. And then there is a safe URL. So for some reason, if you get locked out or something, just because 
something happened or you forgot and messed up on 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 the um, some of the common paths or something weird happened that this safe URL will allow you to get back in. So that's uh, pretty much it. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm able to actually harden my WordPress website. And like I said, I've used it on now like at least about five uh, websites. So um, anyways, uh, that's all I have for, for this one. And uh, go check it out. Bye for now.